gathered in Tokyo today to, I'm, I'm not sure I'm <laughs> giving you the correct story here. Hold on. This is their way around the 2% property tax cap. There we have it. That's the ac uh, accusation some Troy residents are making against the city in the face of a long overdue reassessment of property values. For some, it could mean having to shell out an additional $2,000 a year in taxes, and they're preparing themselves for a fight. It's getting out of hand. This is Bill Coco's home in Troy. He's lived here for more than 30 years, but since it's been 40 years since Troy lasted an actual assessment of property values, he's never been faced with the kind of increase he's seeing now. In 2012, um, they assessed, or the fair market value was 158,000 plus. And now, in the preliminary assessed value, is $180,000. Bill is at the Troy Public Library Monday researching the values of similar homes, preparing to fight the assessment made by Gar Associates, who've taken heat for similar assessments throughout the Capital Region. Joining Bill at the library was fellow homeowner Constance Pakatar. What I paid for my house was approximately $117,000. Their assessment for my property is $145,000. I don't know how they came up with that number. I think that it's a gross overestimate of my property. Constance says um, that estimate on her home would translate into a heavier tax burden than she and her family can afford. Approximately $150 a month more just for the taxes on the property. City Mayor Lou Rosamilia wasn't available to talk on camera but told me by phone that for the past 40 years, values have been determined by applying an equalization rate, an equation set forth by the state to estimate annual changes in value. He also said that while 27% of homeowners did see their property values increase by $500 or more, 36% saw the values drop. Constance is concerned heightened property values could be the city's way around a 2% property tax cap. Some feel that's unjustified, and I'm, that's how this came about, mm. to increase the revenues. But Rosamilia says the city does not stand to make anything additional in property tax revenues since some went up and some went down. But people like Bill can't stand to pay any more. On a fixed income, my wife and I, uh, uh, being retired, we, d we didn't plan on this. Uh, every, 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 time, every time we turn around, there's something new. GAR Associates is holding an informational meeting about a half hour from now to help people understand how the new assessments were reached. That's happening at the Boys and Girls Club. Calls to GAR's Albany office today were not returned. Rosamilia said homeowners currently have the opportunity to argue the assessment with GAR before it's adopted by the city. At that time, homeowners will have the chance for a formal grievance.